Um, okay, so um, you know, still uh, a little behind here. Um, I think one thing about the kind of overall strategy is you don't want this many edges uh, yet. Like the idea is to like look at this shape right now. And I'm going to take out a bunch of edges. Like let's try every other, for example. Did the shape change? I would argue not really. Right, so we start with a lot less edges, get as much shape to it as we can, and then only be adding edges as you need more points to define the shape you're going for. Um, so don't start out so dense. Um, these are looking okay, maybe a little dense back there. Um, this looks a little twisted up. I would kind of think the fingers are becoming more straight out. And for some reason, this finger is a lot more dense than the other ones. Um, and uh, this area is a little stretched out there. But yeah, I would kind of build it straight and then you can always bend it with the joints. Um, if you want to connect these, that might be a good idea. Oops. going to isolate this for a second so I can select this weird there okay um, I'm just going to turn off symmetry W symmetry symmetry so um, yeah and again here it's very dense here but not for any reason you know there's no this isn't adding any um, shape really I guess that goes from along the thumb, which is odd. Yeah, it, do it doesn't look like you follow the tutorial for the hand, really. Um, if you did want to connect these, you'd need the same number of points on each. Just see how many there are. Um, display, heads up display, poly count. That is 15, and this is 13. But actually, you don't really need this edge here. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. And I don't know if there's any one more we could easily delete. Not really. Um, I would definitely add another edge loop here just to kind of give that a little more structure. Um, let's circularize this. Right mouse click, edge, double click, hit the circularize button. And that kind of evens out the spacing of those points. Um, and we said, okay, so that's 14 and this is 13. Gosh, we just have to get rid of one. Um, you know, I might just get rid of like this one or something. There's a lot of crazy edges in the end here right now. You really have to redo this anyway, but now they have the same number if you did want to combine these. Mesh combine and then right mouse click, edge, shift right mouse click, bridge. So it is, you know, essentially seamlessly combined now, but I think that's not going to. So I would just say, looking at where you are now, um, I think the best way forward is rather than trying to build your own character that you could. Um, just build the one in the example provided and then you could just straight follow the steps so use the designs provided in module 4 and um, just follow the steps as they're given exactly so you're just following along rather than having to build your own because I'm a little worried about you being able to do that in the time and further what you could do is um, I could just give you a model to work with for the rest of the class so um, let me know if you would like me to do that as well.